So we've come out to Taraheke Island, which is the main stronghold in the Haraki Gulf for the spotted shag, which in the Auckland region anyway is an endangered species. There's a lovely craggy landscape around us and the rocks here are, um, are covered with these nesting spotted shags. It's a, just a spectacular location. A very, very beautiful bird actually. They're, they're, as you can see, they're silvery rather than black on the back. And when you get close to them, they've got this lovely dappled spotted markings on the, on the ends of the feathers. The nest count essentially is, is, I suppose, our census of the number of potential breeding pairs. So um, here we've just seen about 12 nests, I think. And um, we've got about um, 23 birds here at the moment. Around the South Island, there's, you know, there's tens of thousands of them. But um, up here, um, we've got this curious little northern population which is quite isolated. We've probably only got around about 300 pairs left. Yeah, let's just go around to the gut and be good, thanks. So this is site 8. Is it site I got 10 nests. Site 8. I'm really interested in finding out what's going on with these birds and see if we can arrest some of the declines that, that seem to be happening. Back to back here, isn't that? It's in that den. Probably about 36 minutes. An old mate of mine found 13 drowned in a set net at Kokotutu a few years ago. And when you think of that attrition, it wasn't a very big colony. They just wouldn't, you know, they could, really couldn't hack, hack that, that uh, level of mortality. But I might go back and just try and yeah. separate out the young birds from the animals. Yeah. We do wonder you know, how important those species might have been for the shares because the decline of the filters and anchovies does rather coincide with the decline we've seen out here, on the, especially on the Coromandel Islands. Every year a bird will molt its feathers, it'll grow new feathers. And when it grows those feathers, these little chemical signatures of nitrogen and carbon are stored in the feathers. And those signatures can tell you something about whereabouts on the food ladder the birds are feeding. And also when you use museum specimens, you can look at those feathers over time. So you can see how the diet of those birds has changed over time. And that seems to be particularly relevant here in the Haraki Gulf. Oh, there's a bird there too. Right down low. See it's head? Yeah, yeah, just showing. That yeah. One. That's a classic little grotto in there, isn't it? With those birds up there, the yeah. Last year the, the, the colonies on Waiheke um, performed very badly and had, had virtually no chicks. So this year we wanted to count right across the breeding season and see what, what's going on. And the good news is that there seems to be some chicks here. So we know they were breeding here, and we're going to try a bit of Kiwi ingenuity and see if we can attract them back. We're going to take spotted shags that were originally shot at the Noises and are now in the uh, collection at Auckland Museum. We're going to 3D print them in full colour, and then we're going to install them on a fake colony here. And we're going to build some artificial nests, we're going to have birds sitting, we're going to have birds standing, we're going to put in a sound system, playing the calls that you heard back at Tarahiki and we're going to splash a bit of white um, mock poo around and we're going to see if it works, aren't we Tim? Yeah. <laughs>